Want to learn more about Matinee, Blueprints and the Unreal 4 Engine UI? Stick around to find out more. Hi guys and welcome to this Tech Team GB video. Today we're going to be taking a look at both Matinee, a little bit of Blueprints, um, and sort of showing you a little bit around the Unreal Editor. Uh, that's the Unreal Engine 4 Editor, of course. So um, what we're going to be doing today is actually using the um, sort of office template that you, uh, you learn uh, and make using the uh, Unreal Engine tutorials. Now I could take you through how to do this, but um, the guys at Epic Games really did a great job of uh, showing you around blueprints, showing you how to do things like a trigger door, and what we're going to do sort of add to, uh, on top of that. So if you haven't seen those tutorials, um, there'll be a link right uh, kind of just under the video here, where you'll be able to, uh, to be able to check that out. So um, first of all, I'm going to show you what we're going to be making. So as you can see, um, I've already got a triggered door set up, but it was just that ma matinee that we're going to be showing you um, and how, how to trigger that, sorry, in blueprints. Okay, so what we're going to do uh, to start off with here is uh, let's go with um, hitting the matinee button, hitting add a matinee. Now, as you can see, I have the sort of uh, tabbed idea going here, but if you have only one screen, uh, but you want to be able to see things, edit things, uh, you can either do that, You can, if you have multiple screens like me, you can take them off to the side, but I really generally prefer this. So the first thing we're going to do is click the new camera button, and we're just going to call this cam1, uh, and make sure you select the movement track. We're also going to right click in this grey area here and hit add new director group, but make sure you select the movement group under cam1 and go back to your office. Now as you can see we're actually in the frame of a camera at the moment um, and as you can see with a very helpful UI that now comes up to show you uh, what the camera's seeing as opposed to just guessing all the time this is what the frame, the first frame will look like of our matinee sequence. So as you can see it's already put a lovely little keyframe there for us at the zero second mark uh, and what we're going to do is make this 10 seconds long so I'm going to have to scroll along a bit and first of all take this green one uh, this is the one that will uh, let you loop um, if you want to of course but we're going to take the red one and stride that along do, 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 do. please feel free to skip through some of this I'll try and include time codes in the video description um, because this may end up being slightly longer than I hoped but hey so once we've made that nice and long what we're going to do is go to about three seconds and go to the office what we're going to do is we're going to move the camera a little bit so uh, yeah let's let's move it maybe uh, well in, in the uh, in demo I just showed you we kind of moved it slightly just through the door turned it around a little bit made it look up a little bit more uh, maybe a little bit further back than that. <clears throat> We're going to go to the matinee. Uh, make sure that you're set to curve. Uh, the interpolation is set to curve auto so it gives you a nice smooth feel. If you want a jerky feel, change it to something like linear or constant. Um, or any of the other options, play around. Uh, hit add key there. And you see a little lovely keyframe come up. We're going to jump along to six seconds um, and just continue to move the camera. I'm going to stop here because this makes it a very, very long process. So I'll be back in just a moment um, with a full camera track. If you don't know what to do, all you have to do is continue what I just did. Move the track along in the matinee actor here with a little thing. Move the camera, hit add key, move this along, add key, uh, and just make a track to your... Uh, your taste. So one thing once you've got your camera track is go to your matinee actor, click your director group, make sure the time bar is set to zero and just hit the return or enter key. Uh, then cut to cam one and hit OK. Then you get that lovely uh, cam one shot. It may be a different colour but as long as it says the group that you've named it, <coughs> it's fine. So just to prove that it definitely works, I'm going to move my matinee window off. Uh, I'm just going to hit play. 
as you can see in the bottom corner there, that's going to be the movement um, that the camera is, is going to do. Uh, so as you can see, it circles around the beam and goes back to the door. So that's all well and good. So we're going to hit, uh, well, you should hit save. I'm not going to. But let's hit play. So remember, if you've made this level already, you know that this, these are all physics objects and you can hit the chairs about. And just to prove that it's not like a pre-made cutscene or anything, I'm going to leave those crushed up in the corner and I'm going to jump into this. Now, bear in mind, we haven't actually done any blueprints yet. So what you need to do is exit out. Make sure that you have the matinee actor selected. So for me, this is hidden in the floor over this side. I'm actually going to raise it up just to make it a bit more useful, but make sure you've got it selected, hit blueprints, open level bl blueprint. Now if you haven't already made this level, this may look like a what? what? But as said, go check out those tutorials and you'll be full of knowledge. So all we do, all we want to do is make this play once, uh, the first time you, uh, you, you, know, you walk through the door. So we're going to right click uh, with the <coughs> actor selected. We're going to just type play, uh, not plat, play. Now under call function on Matin Actor 1, game and cinematic, you'll see a feature called play, we're just going to hit, well, play. Then move it up a little bit and drag the execute line from this one, or if you just want to do it from a trigger, you should do uh, select the trigger, right click, uh, type in begin overlap and click the on actor begin overlap box and then drag the execute line from that into Play. Once you've hit compile, go back to your scene and, well, save and play. So remember, these are all physics objects, so we're going to sort of throw these around a bit just to prove that it's not pre-rendered or anything, and we're going to walk into our trigger. As you can see, the lovely little trigger, as the open door slides up round, drops down, and then the player regains control, and they can walk through it again. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions about, um, you know, us, uh, any projects we're doing or anything, they will probably be on a separate channel. But uh, yes, stick around for those sort of updates. Um, stick around for a lot more tutorials as well. As we work stuff out, we want to make sure that other people can as well. So lots of tutorials should be coming up fairly shortly. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the dislike button if you disliked it. As I said, leave a comment. Let us know if you have any questions about this tutorial specifically. Or if you have any questions um, regarding your specific projects, we may be able to help you. <coughs> We're not, uh, you know, geniuses. You should probably ask the Epic Games guys at the Unreal Engine YouTube channel for that one. Um, but yeah, we might be able to help you, especially if you're doing something like this level. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, make sure you hit the like button if you did enjoy this type of video. We really um, do try and do as much of sort of different content as we can to show you guys we really do uh, care and try. And obviously, if you leave us a comment and let us know what you thought. We can help, uh, you can help sort of fix the content, make it better, um, or just tell us what you liked. Anyway, I'll stop babbling and I'll see you all in the next video.